What do these words bring to mind for you? Sell, pitch, close, persuade, influence. You know, for basically everyone but salespeople in the world, those words are like fingernails scratching on a chalkboard. It, it, it brings back a memory of like, you know, Ron Papil and the slicer dicer hopper chopper guy at the county fair. But the truth is the sales world has completely changed since Ron Papil and the hopper chopper. Sales today is nothing more than what you do every day, which is to have a conversation. On the show today, I'm going to interview one of my longtime coaching students and a guy who is absolutely flat out had success by having conversations that result in great deals where his clients get what they want and he gets what he wants. Ed Talks Live is next. Hey, what's up? It's Ed Rush, five-time number one best-selling author, your host for the most positive place in the planet for insanely implementable ideas. Today's show is how to turn Conversa conversations into conversions. I've got my man, David Zetz, who I'm going to bring in in just a moment. Before I do that, jump in on the right-hand side. Tell us who you are, where you're from, what you do. Chat has already begun to explode right here on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, that's right below you. And by the way, this launches in 58 minutes. We're going for round one of Top Gun Consultant. If you are not in yet, you still have time. There's still time. You're going to go to edrush.com slash topgun. Uh, we've got uh, almost 100 people ready to rock and roll, and you wait, you wait. There are going to be uh, people who move into six-figure range, and there are going to be people who move into seven-figure range over the next year to year and a half because of what they learn, and we start today. 11 o'clock Pacific, 2 o'clock Eastern is the first training, and like I said, if you've been sitting on the fence and you're like, man, now's the time, look, look no further than the website below and a $5,000 guarantee, because I'm gonna guarantee you that you're gonna make at least $5,000 in the next two months after taking the training from what you learn or you get your money back. That's about as good as it gets, but we start in an hour, so the clock is ticking. I won't be able to get you this manual in the next hour. I'll be able to get it to you in the next two days, but I have a downloadable version to hook you up. All right, so without any further ado, let me jump in and say hello to our, to our fans and friends in chat. First one in this morning about an hour ago, said Mike Toy, said good morning from the Republic of Texas, home of the Alamo, Davy Crockett and Barbecue Done Right, yeehaw. And Jim said hello and then made a very astute point. I think Davy Crockett was from Tennessee, but really, you know, made his name there down at the Alamo. What's up, Barry? Good to see you as well. Uh, welcome back to the show. I know I'm going to see you on Zoom in less than an hour. Hello, Diana. <laughs> Grateful for air conditioning. I don't have it in my office, but man, the fans are on. Fans are on. Hey, Neil, uh, or, or Jeffrey, good, uh, Jeff, good to see you as well, uh, buddy. Jim, uh, welcome to the show. I know I'm going to see you uh, in an hour for Top Gun as well as you there. Charlie, good to see you. Giovanni and Marnie, the gang's all here. Good to see you as well. Last time I was in D.C., just a couple weeks ago, that storm came through. It rained about uh, 10 inches. Uh, that might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but uh, it rained a lot. What's up, Lana? Good to, good to see you as well. Uh, one of my Mastermind members, we just had our first virtual Mastermind meeting yesterday and it was awesome david zetz what's up dude hey hey how we doing how about that for how about that for the fastest introduction in the history <laughs> of Ed talks live i'm going to do a little background but i wanted to bring david onto the show so the story uh david so i have a, one of my uh, other businesses uh, is a business where i work with basketball referees i shouldn't say i uh, my dad is actually one of the one of the um uh, most well-known basketball referees really in history uh, he started refereeing in the '60s, back with Wilt Chamberlain. When he left in the at the late in the late '90s, uh, it was you know uh, Kobe and Shaq and those guys. Uh, and we created a business back in 2007 where we work with and mentor basketball referees. So uh, David came into that program as one of our basketball referees. He was actually referred in from a good friend of ours named Dave Libby, longtime West Coast referee. And uh, and 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 David came in and started improving his skills as a referee. But like he was watching something else at the same time. He was watching, um, uh, he was watching our uh, marketing and some of the success that we were having. And then he came onto a webinar like you've seen before. And he ended up coming to a two day training that I had here in San Diego. It was an early version uh, of Top Gun Consultant. And he got the entrepreneurial bug. Uh, he's got his book by the way, he's got the manual, boom. Oh. Uh, in an hour, 
wait a second, in an hour. Yeah, Ben, so 11 o'clock Pacific, <clears throat> uh, we kick off Top Gun Consulting. There's um, still there's, time, you guys. There's still t- <laughs> there's still time. Do it. What's up? What's up, Linda? Good to see you as well. Uh, the website, by the way, is right here. If you want to, if you haven't, oh no, you're in, Ben. You're already in. So the the live training, the Zoom training starts. And Ben, if you haven't gotten those emails, it's because your emails aren't getting delivered. So email my team right now, support at edrush.com to make sure that you get it because I know you're in already in on the program. All right. So David comes to the training, gets the consulting bug, and then realizes he does, he's got two things going for him. Number one, He's got affinity into the referee market. And number two, he has a system for helping people get in great shape. And he put those two things together and the results are history. That's as far as I wanna go in the introduction other than to say the dude is a flat out implementer, okay? So I met with him a couple months ago here in San Diego for we did like one day. And it was, it was literally like within a couple days, he's sending me text messages showing the results of what we already implemented. So David Zetz, welcome to the show, dude. It's good. Oh, yeah, this is one of your this is one of your coaching members right here. Is that Jeff? What's your up, guys? Buddy? And he he's just saying, hey, what, what David does works. And Jeff, I've seen, I saw um some pictures of you on the court, by the way, and you're looking good, dude. Really good. So Jeff's insanely in insanely good shape. So so how about that for an introduction? You have one of your own mentees that comes on and tells you how great you are. So well, I appreciate that. So welcome to the show, dude. It's been it's been a lo- I've been wanting to have you on for a while. So Tell me, tell me the story, man. How did this all happen for you? Dude, well, so you say I'm a I'm an implementer, and it's because of you, man, because 21 Day Miracle, I saw you give a talk at the Court Club camp in Vegas. And by the way, that was my first Court Club camp that I ever went to. And because of my connections, I wasn't actually, it was my first year official, by the way. And because of my connections, I got to do the video. And so I wasn't even refereeing games at that point. Um, but I was so blown away by your speech. Uh, I was so excited to get home and read the book. And I got, I read the book in a day. I started that first one was mind mastery, right? Well, that was the first yep. uh, implementation item to do. And I started on it right away. I was about four days into my meditation and I was like, dude, this is like <laughs> awesome. So I, I started, started seeing results right away and it just went from there. You know, it's funny because I got, I, at the time I was working part-time at a, at a hospital in cardiac rehab. I wasn't really making much money. Um, I was working three days a week. I was seeing some clients on the side, going to their houses to train them and things like that. And I didn't, I was kind of lost, didn't really know where to go. So at that moment, you know, when I read that book and I, I started to be able to really learn, um, how to control my mind and my mindset around money and, and how to really help people and have a bigger impact, just like you teach all the time, Ed. And um, so what happened was I, I got like an email and got to that webinar. And then I took that, that other Top Gun course back then and it totally changed my life. I started seeing opportunities in front of me. I moved from a part-time job at the hospital to a corporate job in a personal training uh, setting. And because of what I learned in that course, I actually started breaking records at that company. It was a company called Equinox. And just so you know, Ed, uh, the new trainers coming into that into that um, that space start from zero. You, know, you start yeah. from zero, and then you go. You have to build your own business and your own clientele. So uh, it was terrifying, um, but I had the confidence to to go interview for that job. I got the job, and I ended up uh, going from th- three thousand something in the whole company because the, the company is really big. Um, as far as trainers go, 3,000. And then four months later, I was in the top 50 in the company wow. with uh, sessions worked and retention and all these things, right? And basically just had happy clients getting happy results. Um, and then I did that for about two years. I was refereeing at the same time. I was working myself into the ground because honestly, Ed, you got me to a point where uh, I, I had so many clients that I had ran out of time. Um, one of the other things I did, I have to just, you know, thank the people at that place as well. All the top trainers in that company, I ended up hiring them too, so that I could become a better personal trainer. Um, but Ed, it was, it was, you can't be a better personal trainer until you start working with people. And so, uh, that's what you taught me. Um, you know, what was it? Four years ago when we did that? Yeah, it was like four or five years ago. I mean, it's interesting. You go from. You go from 3,000 to 50. That includes two things, by the way, as you're watching this. 
uh, you you can be you can be an incredible salesperson, but if you can't deliver on the goods, right, you're 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 not going to go very far. So it's interesting. You actually did, you actually got help two ways. By the way, he mentioned Twenty One Day Miracle. If you're not familiar with this book, now is a really great time to go to Amazon and grab it. Uh, inside the book, I have a, a ten different what I call Twenty One Day Sprints, and the one that I typically recommend people do first. I think I've got the um, the website down here. Ed Rush book is the website. It's right below. Um, one of the very first sprints I recommend people do is, is called 21 Day Mind Mastery. It only takes 10 minutes a day. And the idea is to begin to be in charge of the thoughts that are going through your mind. So David went through from that into one of our trainings. In the training, what we do is teach you how to get people to pay you for your ideas, your time, and your advice. But at the same time, he was hiring some of the high-performing trainers to teach him how to deliver really well. I think that's really brilliant because you, you can get people to say yes but you really want clients who stay, pay, and refer. You want people who are with you for a long time. Like for example, Jeff Hansen, who j jumped on here, is the kind of guy who's gonna be with you, working with you for quite some time because he's bought in. So you right. want people who stay, you want people who pay, but you also want people who bring other people in and refer. And I think what you did is yeah. really quite quite astute there. And it's, it's no surprise that you've had incredible success. We're gonna talk about that success in a minute, but keep going. Yeah, no. So, I mean, so that's what the, one of the first things, as soon as I got my first client, right, I got that first deal. Uh, it was super smooth, great conversation. You know, it was just all about helping them. And we're, we're going to teach about this a little bit later. Um, but uh, yeah, as soon as I did that, I just went to the managers. I was like, hey, look, who who in here is who's the best in here? Because really, <laughs> there were 30 there were 30 trainers there uh, working at that club. And, you know, you Equinox is actually an amazing place because you can make a, a decent living um, as a one-on-one -on -one trainer, but eventually you're going to run out of time, right? Yeah. But there were, yep. so there were only about three or four people that were making over six figures uh, in that club, right? Everyone else, by the way, did it, the turnover rate there for new trainers is like 90% after six months. Oh, so yeah. They don't make it Yeah. Uh, because they're a trainer and then they realize, oh, shoot, now they have to be a salesperson and, and then they can't figure that thing out. So they don't get clients and then they don't get referrals and then they don't build a business. So yeah, that was, that was what happened there. And then, um, dude, I was refereeing. I was super busy, ran out of time. I basically, I ended up hurting myself at one point I was, um, cause I wasn't sleeping because I was just working so much. It was insane. And so, um, I hurt myself playing beach volleyball. And then I, I had this moment where I was like on the, on the gym floor in crutches, right. Oh, wow. Training, training eight sessions a day. Oh my goodness. And I was like, I can't, I can't keep doing this. <laughs> I like I'm, I'm exhausting myself. This is crazy. So, um, I, I took what I learned and I said, you know what? I woke up one morning and I went to my manager and said, Hey, look, I, this sounds crazy. I, I you're not, you're not going to believe this, but I know I'm doing really well here, but I just can't do this anymore. I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to go do this stuff online and, um, and help referees. And um, she was like, what? <laughs> like, what? Why would you like, why would you leave this yeah. whole group of clients? And it was actually a very emotional time for me because I did have to say goodbye to a lot of people. Um, but it opened up this whole other avenue. And, and um, uh, I started, you know, on social media, basically just chatting with referees to see how I could help them yep. uh, with their fitness. Because, you know, you and I both know that as referees, it's a huge uh it's a huge need. You, you yeah. need to be fit, right? Especially if you're going to move up in that, in that business. Um, you have to look the part. You've got to be an athlete. You got to run well. Um, because it just enhances so, your credibility. Go back. I want to go back quickly just to the decision you made. This is where, uh, I believe this is where a, a dollars for hour worker turns into an entrepreneur. Yeah. Uh, so David had success. He was getting paid well. And he had a full list of clients and he's in the top 50 of an organization. Now, most people, and I'm, this is not a critical eye at all. I'm just telling you this is the way most people are built. Most people would ride that horse all the way into town, through town, into the next town, on and on and on. And literally, they would stay there. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's sometimes people are built that way for consistency. They just do it and that's the way it is. But an entrepreneur looks at this and says, I love it. The people are great and the money's fine. But fundamentally what you're doing is you're trading dollars or hours for dollars. You're going to work a certain period of time and there's only so much time you have in your day. And therefore there's only so much money you can make. And I don't know what the number was, but the Equinox 
trainers, we're going to max out somewhere. Look at the top 10, average their salary, that's where your max is. And so what David did is, first of all, he, he left, which takes incredible amount of courage. The second thing is he looked to a market that he had affinity towards. And this is something I want you to really pay attention to as you're watching. One of the most natural things to do as you make a transition from doing to consulting is to look into markets that you have already a connection towards. I will tell you, most people completely disregard that. Uh, I don't know why that affinity is, it, 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 it's like, I mean, I have people who are like in IT for 30 years and then they wanna go consult people in uh, you know the fitness world. I'm like, wait a second. This is where you have, you know, the language, you know, the people. And the interesting thing about what he did working with basketball referees is see a basketball referee is more likely to sign up with another basketball referee because they know the drill. Now, the truth right. is, I don't know what the number is, 80% of what David teaches, any fitness person could teach that stuff. But the other 20%, and I've watched some of his videos on YouTube, on uh, Instagram, I'll, I'll tell you about that in a second. But the 20% really does connect directly to the body movements of a basketball referee, which means he, he's more likely to get someone to say yes. And this is important, he's he can charge more because of that affinity as well. So I think that move uh, was brilliant. But what you also did, which I think is great, is you took yourself out of the traditional, this is where we're going next, you took yourself out of the traditional training model. The traditional training model goes like this. You show up, I show up, and you pay me for a block of time. Yeah. Uh, which may be one of the fastest ways to go broke, <laughs> by the way, yeah. just yeah. pay me for a block of time. And you took yourself completely out of that model and truly systematized personal training. And the way you did, it, I think is brilliant. So talk about that. Thank you. So yeah, absolutely. You know, I, uh, so I got myself a, a fitness app basically that I could, I just took everything that I, that I learned in the in person model, uh, everything, including goal setting and communication, how to deliver, a really kick-ass personal training session and and get great results and i just put it right into a fitness app that i could actually customize to the individual um and make it you know get them to where they want to be without having to hold their hand you know every single time they work out you know and um i i think one of the biggest reasons uh that my business works so well too for basketball referees is you know, with the right program, you don't need to work out five, six days a week. You, you really don't. And, uh, and um, what I found was a lot of referees don't actually have legitimate programs. And one of the biggest uh, rules that referees live by is don't guess. And as I go through these, as I go through these conversations with referees, what I was finding was that they were, they were guessing on their way to getting a result. And my, my biggest communication item was, look, man, you're not going to guess out on the floor, you know, to, if you're going to see a play and you think you saw it, you're not going to blow your whistle. That's going to get you in a lot of trouble, right? Well, same thing goes for your fitness. You know, if you're going to, if you have a goal and you, and you say you want to lose 10 pounds or you want to gain, you know, some muscle or, or do a little bit of both, uh, and you don't have a roadmap to get there, you're just guessing, man. And you're just going to be spinning your wheels. It's going to be exhausting. Um, and not only are you not going to get to the next level, but you're also, you're also going to just be, it's going to affect yeah. the rest of your life. Too. Yeah, it's really you good. Know? And what you just said yeah. there, and I'm like, uh, by the way, those of you in chat, I'm going to, there's some great conversations going on there. I'm going to come to you in a second. What you just said, I think is great um, about the certainty. It's yeah. been my experience now having over 450 one-on-one -on -one clients. People will tell you they, that they're signing up for a lot of reasons. Uh, they want to make more money, have a bigger impact, create a better lifestyle, have a better body, move better on the court there's one thing that every consultant needs to offer either explicitly or implicitly, which is certainty. Yeah. When people work with you, they want you to say, this is what I want you to do. <clears throat> do this. This will work. Yeah. Here's what I recommend. They don't want you to be all, you know, I don't know. What do you think? Like, think about this. You go to a doctor <laughs> and, and you get diagnosed with something that you need to get treated. The doctor's not going to go, well, I don't know. There's a couple options. We could mull it over. You want to hear someone say, do this. This will work. And so in a moment, I want to get to how you start started to have these conversations because it's, it's really brilliant. And for those of you in Top Gun Consulting, you're going to want to implement this because this is really smart. Uh, before I do that, let me just say hello to a couple folks in chat. Uh, some really, really great comments, by the way. Um, 
Brad just jumped in and said, I lost 21 pounds in Woo! 21 days with the 21 day mirror. Dude, that is, that's a lot of weight, Brad. That's, that's a lot, Brad. Be rad. So I don't know if that's safe, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. So if you haven't done it, uh, uh, Brad, I uh, throw that on Amazon because every once in a while, man, I'll get somebody who will write like some nasty review on Amazon. Not that it affects me, but you know, kind of think about it every once in a while. Uh, I see so, it work at the Knox. I did. They call it the Knox Equinox. The yeah. Knox. <laughs> not, not any longer, but yes. <laughs> thank you, Marty. That is awesome. Um, it is really great. So thank you, uh, Gladys, for jumping in and saying hello. Uh, and then, um, oh, David, now you're gonna get now you're gonna get leads. <laughs> so the, here, I'm gonna just tell you right behind right behind David uh, is his um, on the screen there. Let me make, I, I can't talk and make his screen big at the same time, but it's <laughs> at Coach Zets. It's, oh. it's at Coach and then Z-E-T-T-S. So Charlie, go follow him on Instagram. That's send, the best way to get connected. Yeah, send, me a, send me a message and then and we'll chat because, you know, well, let's chat about what your goals are and then we'll, and then we'll there get There you go. Going. So this is it. All right. This is it. This is so That's great. Um, uh, he said, we're Simple. going to chat about what your goals are. And, and this is one of, this is the thing First of all, David's success has been great. We're going to get to the numbers in a second, but he's moving into six-figure range very quickly from a standing start, zero revenue into six figures in the last five months. Very impressive. Um, but uh, but he does it through conversation. So t talk, take take me through. This is so easy. This so is easy. so easy. Listen, if you feel like, ah, man, I don't know how to make money, it, it's nothing more than starting a conversation. And Charlie, what you just, what you just, uh, did here is perfect because you guys are going to work together and, and you're going to get great results. But the conversation is also important to see how easy this can be because all it is is asking some questions. So t take us through what you do. We have some screenshots, by the way, of some of David's conversations, but take me through what you do. I I'd love to see this. Yeah. So, you know, number one, like when I first started out, nobody knew who I was really, you know, now I have a little bit of clout in the, yep. in the referee community. Well, yeah. Uh, and you've worked with some, some of the yeah. re NBA referees at the top of their game. So, yeah. so that does give you credibility, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I'm, yeah, I'm working with everyone from high school, you know, junior college, low level division college, division one, and then also uh, NBA referees. Um, and the whole, so the whole, when I started, I didn't have that yet. You know, I, I would just went out and I just would start sending messages to people. I would start following referees and just say, Hey, you know, this is, this is who I am. This is what I do. Do you need any help? That was that, as simple as that. Um, so yeah, go ahead and pull up one of the, one of the recent ones. So the, uh, let's do, this one says in, this is how you do an intro, right? So, yeah. so this is somebody who, who just liked one of my posts, you know? And, um, so I just say, Hey, Thanks for liking my post. Are you a referee? Because I'm assuming that they are, because most of my followers are referees. Um, and he goes, "Yeah, hey man, love your content. I am." And then he already is giving me all this, all this information, all this really great information that I'm going to need in order to help him. Right. So um, the the next step is you know intro, and then the next is step number two is have genuine interest in what yeah. they are saying. Yeah because that's that's how you're really going to build a strong connection and build trust with somebody is if you really care about what it is that they're trying to do in their life yeah, and, this, uh, and so, this is really good right here see where it says any big aspirations to move up what this is is an aspirational question it is fundamentally a desire or a want question and it's one of the ones i teach inside of top gun is to ask, hey, what are, what are your big challenges? What are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? What, how do you envision yourself in a year? How do you envision yourself in three years? Most consultants in this instant, if you're on Facebook or you're on LinkedIn, you see it every day. People are like, sign up for my course. I'm amazing. Look how great I am. This is incredible. You're gonna, da, da, da. no one cares, okay? <laughs> Here's what people respond to. Hey, what are your big objectives right now? Man, I, I just like gotta lose an extra 20 pounds. My knees hurting all the time. I wake up and my back is sore. Those are challenges that move you into the conversation. So this is why I love this. There's an introduction. What David said is is a genuine interest, okay? And then he, he's asking a, a, a desire question or, or 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 an interest question. So keep going. Yeah. So <clears throat> so next is the second part 
after the genuine interest and to let them know that you're still genuinely is interested is to keep asking good questions. So here's uh, another text yeah. screen yeah, here app. Uh, so you ask the question who your mentor is and then wh wh yeah. where does it go here from here? Um, so so as, you, as you, I ask him who his mentor is, he tells me, I say, great. What are you doing for the off season right now? You know, I found some common ground. So at genuine interest, find some common ground. I say, hey, I always ask since I do work with some of those guys, he was before this message, he was talking about uh, his mentor and, you know, how he wants to move up to division one and all these things. And so I was just like, oh, who's your mentor? Look, I, I didn't actually know the guy, um, but it, it doesn't necessarily matter. I'm just trying to, if I did know the guy, that that's good knowledge for me, right? Yeah. Because uh, yeah. then we can have some more common ground there. Um, so I didn't actually have common ground there because I didn't know the name. And um, so my next my next question, it's, it's always follow up with another question, okay? So my next question is something related to what I can actually help him with. So I'm trying to figure out, well, what are you doing for the off season right now? Because, you know, basketball is just who knows what's going to happen with basketball in the, in the next few months, but, um, but they still need to be ready, you know? Um, and so he says, it's been tough just doing a lot of at home body weight exercises, hit sprint workouts, uh, looking to get a little leaner, haven't been to the gym and acknowledge what they say. And then, and then don't, don't ever take, uh, like a superficial answer yeah, uh, and leave it there. Right. Yeah. You always want to get specific with, you know, I'm not saying that was a superficial answer, but I want to know more specifics now. Yep. And that's going to really let them know that you that I actually care about about you and where you're trying to go. And then uh, as I get as I can get the specific goals, then I can start to give advice. All right. And, and I think that's that's a really powerful tool there. So, so here's here's one. And by the way, so what I've written down so far. This is why I love these interviews, man. I mean, I'm, dude, I've been teaching this stuff for 10 years now. And every time I interview one of my, you know, one of my students that went off to be successful, I learned some things too. What I wrote down so far, there's four questions. Uh, there's introductory questions. How are you? Who's your mentor? Uh, there's desire questions. What do you want to achieve? Right. What are your biggest challenges? How much weight do you want to lose? What body fat do you want? Then there's a cost question, which we're going to get to. And then there's transitional questions, which are transitioning from like, who are you to d specific questions related to things that you can be delivering. Um, and so I've got another one here that you sent me, and this is about you. Uh, essentially, it's, it's, it's how you, tra this is the transition, what I was getting to. This is how you transition right. from a conversation via text into a conversation about working together. So take me through this. Yeah. So as soon as I get a goal, I normally what I'm going to ask is how is your progress? Because a lot of times, you know, when I talk to referees or, or anyone, even when I was working at Equinox, what I learned was nobody really is tracking their progress. Um, and so they're when I ask that question, um, you know, they're they're going to have like this vague answer. Right. And <laughs> and so so I just you know, it's the same thing. Don't take a superficial uh, response as, as you know, don't stop there. So it's, how's your progress? He goes, it's going, my shoulders. It's like, it's going to me means he really doesn't know. Um, yeah, 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 so, yeah. So it's my job to, to paint the picture of look, man, you, you're not sure. So how we, if you don't know, then how do we know how to actually get you from A to B? Right. So, uh, the next question was really the same question, just more specifics. So how's your progress? Well, he doesn't really know. So my next question is, well, are you tracking it? You know, and then he doesn't even really know how to track his progress. So now, it's, so now it's my turn to teach, right? So I'll say words like, and I think this, this stuff is really powerful. When you say sounds like, seems like, or feels like, okay, based on a conversation, it lets people know that you're listening yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. to them. And so I say, dude, sounds like you need a program that's specific to your goals. Because based on what he said, it doesn't sound like he has anything to get him from A to B. He's just kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm trying this. He's just doing a bunch of random stuff, right? <laughs> um, and that's <laughs> that's not how you get to a result, you know? And, and but it's, you know, but the, part, the thing is, man, like sometimes people aren't, like you'll find as a consultant, like people, people have never been asked that question before. Yeah. You know, yeah. and they'll kind of they'll kind of be like, oh, and they'll have this reframe in their mind and they'll go, 
well, shoot. And then he asked me like, well, how do I do that? Yeah. Uh, you know, and then it's like, well, great. Now I can teach you how to do that. This is so different. Like I said, every day I get 10 of these on LinkedIn at least where it's like, are you interested in closing more sales? Well, this revolutionary new program will get you to, 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 to I'm not interested. Oh, dude, right? it's just like, it's spitting stuff and, in your face. And this is really interesting because he says, so this is what I would call a transitional question. Dude, sounds like you need a program that's specific to your goals. And this, and the interesting thing I like I like about this, it's not carefully formatted. Uh, it's, it's written like someone would write a text who's like on their way to jump in their car, which is important. It shouldn't sound salesy, right? Dude, sounds like you need a program that's specific to your goals. And he says, you're right about that, which now yeah. is that's an open door for you to say, hey, let's jump on and just chat about this. And I like the way you asked this. Well, I'd be happy to talk with you and make the process very simple. Does it sound like a crazy idea to schedule a call next week to see if you'd be a good fit for my program? All right. So there's a lot happening in that text, by the way. Yeah. There's a lot of embedded persuasion triggers, a lot of stuff that comes out of Top Gun, actually, which is really great. Um, and so walk That's me through this. Through you, I'm just saying. There's two or three really important things happening in this one text. And I, I tell you what, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a couple of them, and then I'll, I'll pitch it back to you. Go ahead. Uh, one of those is, hey, I'd be happy to talk to you. It's just you making yourself available. I'll make the process very simple, which is also important because part of the conversation here is you can't track the progress because it's not simple, Okay. Then I like the way you frame this. Hey, does it sound like a crazy idea to schedule a call next week, right? It's not, you're not jumping on the phone right now. Today, I'm telling you, like in an hour, an hour from now, I'm gonna be talking about something called being strategically unavailable. It's on page 50 of the manual. I know it doesn't sound like we can do that many pages in a day, but we will. I'm gonna talk about a technique called being strategically unavailable because nobody waits for the guru at the top of the mountain at the bottom of the mountain, they wait for the top. So even though right. David's probably available, you're not gonna, hey, let's jump on the phone now. You, yeah. you, it, it, it's almost always best, best to make your prospect wait. This is three things so far in one text. And then the last thing, which is my favorite part, which I'm gonna have you teach. T tell me sure. what the deal is with the end of this text. If you'd be a good fit for my program. <laughs> what, is, what is this? I love this. This is awesome. Keep, go with it. Well, number one is, you know, I don't I don't necessarily work with everybody because some people don't necessarily need my help and I'm not going to, you know, force them into a program for one to if if I feel like they don't actually need my help. And if I, if I feel like it's not going to really if they're not coachable. Right. Like I, that's what I can tell on the phone call is, is this person coachable and can I help them? And with a 30 minute phone call, I'm, all the questions that I'm going to ask, I'm going to have all the answers I need to be like, yeah, this dude is ready to go and he's going to be a great fit. He's going to get great results. Or it's like, you know, I, you know, maybe this just, it's not really right for you, you know? And, um, you know, that, that's, that's just the way it goes. You can't help everybody. And, uh, I, that, I think that's a, just a very powerful thing. Cause it's also, it also kind of disarms the sales, yeah. uh, yeah. aspect of, of, yeah. of like, cause it is, it is a sales call. It is. But the, the truth is like, I, I'm trying to figure out, okay, are you going to be, are, are you going to be ready you yeah. know, to do this? So there's a technique I call turning the tables, which essentially is what this is. Uh, let's say somebody gets referred to me for, as a potential coaching member. The person thinks they're coming onto the call because they're going to interview me on why I would be a good uh, coach, mentor, advisor to them. And oftentimes in the call, and I'll just tell you this fully transparently, you may end up some of you watching the show on a call like this. I will typically ask a question that goes like this. So maybe give me one or two reasons why you think you might be a good fit for this program. Or could you give me maybe one or two reasons why you feel like you should be considered for acceptance into this program? Or maybe can you give me a, a, a reason or two why you think you might uh, be a good candidate for acceptance into this private program? Those questions are designed to get someone to tell you why why you should work it turn why you should work with them. It, it turns the tables around and it creates what I call positioning. Again, I'm teaching this tomorrow, by the way. So if you haven't signed up yet, Yo. I can't say it enough. Edrush.com slash top gun is the one below. And by the way, you need to go follow David. It's at Coach Zetz C O A C H Z E T T S. That's right. Just type that into Instagram. That's where I see most of his um content. And uh by the way, uh, Roy said he followed you. Thanks, we Roy. Follow each other back. Roy and David are like, I think I follow like 25 people on, on Instagram and you're two of them. Uh, 
Dennis says, what's up? Miss you all. Keep the amazing job. David, make sure you add a ball jar to your desk. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to do that. I know. I'm over here with my... I shouldn't be showing this on camera, this, this if, bottle. If someone calls me junior, you can bet they are at, in our referee community because that's the only place I'm junior. Um, th my, my dad is Ed Rush, just so you know. Um, Marnie says, what if you don't have a business or an idea to turn your skills into business? If we have time, we'll hit that question, by the way. Uh, Marnie, I want to go through the rest of these uh, messages. And by the way, as you're watching, uh, those of you who are in Top Gun, we're going to kick it off. I'm going to start the show about 10 minutes early just to say hello to everybody, which means Ed Talks is going to be a little bit shorter today. We're going to about 45 minutes for the next uh, four shows because right at 11 Pacific, we start uh, Top Gun. So, David, we got about eight minutes left. I want to do Sweet. one more uh, of these texts, and then I want you to talk about some results. And then, and then we may need to take this conversation into a second show because this has been awesome. Hey, uh, so, love to. so here's the here's the fourth of the text of the four that I have. Um, this is a cost discussion. Take me through this one. Yeah. So what I did before uh, he sent this, that's a good tip message. Was I gave him some advice, right? I did the hey, it sounds like you need you know something like this, or or you know it sounds like you need a program specific to your goals. Because uh, it was the same kind of deal. He wasn't really tracking anything. He wasn't really sure what he was doing. So um, I don't believe in the scale. I might start measuring my waistline. Okay, that's that's all good stuff. I'm like, hey, that's a great idea. Um, now I I can already tell he's he's interested because he's opening up to me and he's like, hey, look, I, this is this is what I'm trying to do. Um, so I say, hey, that's a great idea. One of the things I do, and I took this directly from. Top Gun, you know, Ed, this is what you teach all the time. One of the things I do with coaching members is you and I track those things together to make sure you get to your end goal super fast. Okay. Because all I'm doing is talking about, look, this is what I recommend. This is what I do so that you can get from A to B faster than you've ever been before. Uh, and that's it. And I just leave it at that. And then he comes back with, well, what's your cost like? And when somebody asks you what your price is, um, they're usually interested and they're kind of ready. They're ready to, to make a change and, and to jump on uh, the phone. So, and really, the the truth is, you know, the cost kind of depends on your level of access and your specific situation because my programs are so customized. Um, so, norm, and then I use the same technique uh, as I did in that first message. So, as you notice, one of the things I do in the first message. Second message is normally what I do with folks who are interested, because I could tell he's interested because he's asking about the price, is have you fill out an application form so I can try to fit you in my call schedule next week so we can talk about what it is you're looking for. I, so I can try. <laughs> I'm just laughing because this is just, it's so, it's so good. Um, so I can try. <laughs> so I can try to fit you in. I'm, I mean, and, that, and it's the truth. I, I know. Truth. I know. I I'm saying I'm working with, I'm working with 80 referees on my. No, on my it's app. Totally, it's, 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 I mean, for real. <laughs> like, if somebody wanted to do coaching with me, the sure. earliest I'd get them in is next Monday. It's probably going to be more like a week from Monday. So I get it. That's the way that it is. But you, just saying it again makes it. But the other thing that it does, which I I really like, if they wait, a, they fill an application out, then they wait a week. By the time they get on with you, they know. If they don't make a decision now, they're probably going to wait another week, you yeah. know, um, which yeah. which is just makes it great. Um, I, I love it, dude. We're going to have to start wrapping this thing up in a second. Sure. We're going to go again, though, buddy. So in the next maybe um, maybe even as early as next week, I want to do a part two on this because we've got a lot more to cover. Very quickly, I want you to start. I want you to share some of the results you've had. And then I also want to say, Marnie, um, I. We've the, the training is starting, but I, I asked one of my team members just to reach out for you because I've got an idea for you uh, as to how um, we can help you. So I want to make sure that you get taken care of. I just don't have time to answer the question on the show because we're going to jump off to the training. But I want to make sure you get um, uh, that, that your answer gets the attention that it needs. All right. So talk to me about some results, dude. We'll wrap up with a little takeaway. Uh, and then, like I said, um, I'd love to have you come back. At, like I said, in the next couple of weeks, if, if you could, you know, if you could fit it into your schedule. So, um, God says, <laughs> well, I appreciate it. I always make time for you, Ed. <laughs> so talk to me, dude. What, how, how, give me some of the numbers just, just so we can motivate uh, some who are listening now. So, uh, of my own success, you mean? Yeah. All right. So yeah. So I started this business in January, uh, from zero. Okay. I quit my job 
uh, actually Thanksgiving of last year, I took some time off. I kind of figured out, okay, how am I going to attack this? Started it from zero, no clients. Um, now I'm, I'm over 80 clients. Wow. Okay. That was only how many months ago was that? I I'm losing track of the time because all this coronavirus stuff. And the uh, average, the average client pays you what? Nine ninety seven. Is that, that's the deal, right? So it's what, well, so it's actually, so to get in, it's a, it's more than that. But then after that you go, cause the main reason is I want to spend the time in those yeah. first few weeks yeah. um, to get, to get you up to speed. But then after that, you go into a 197 monthly subscription uh, where all your all your programs are customized and everything like that. And um, so really what what I did was I I got to five figure months in less than six months. Wow. Um, and as of as we're sitting today, if I just kind of tell you the numbers of where I'm at um, last month was my biggest month to date. Wow. This month. I'm actually at the same revenue that I finished at last month. And I still, we still got how many more days left? Yeah, in the you, month? You're, you're not even two thirds of the way through. We're filming this on August 18th. So, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, so this is going to be um, uh, my, my next biggest month. And then, you know, it's just going to keep ramping up from there because what it's all about is getting people results. And now the snowball effect is happening because people are talking about it. And especially in the referee community, like everyone kind of knows everyone. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I actually just had two of my gals uh, yesterday. I had two people in separate parts of the world, right? And I work with referees even in Spain and, and everywhere in, in the United States. And I had one gal living in one part of the United States, one gal living in another part of the United States. They knew each other and they visited each other yesterday and they hit me up and they're like, hey, we're going to go to the gym together. So I'm like, great, I'm going to give you guys the same workout so you can oh, do it together. So cool. And, um, and so they had a blast. They put it all over social media and it's just, it's just a lot of fun. Um, I'm having a blast, man. And Ed, I can't thank you enough for everything that I've learned, dude. Like it's just blown me away and you've really given me the confidence and, and, and the mindset shifts that I need. And I know that the progressions to your mind are really, are really endless, you know? Well, and so I, I can't wait for, for the next thing. I can't wait for Top Gun Consulting, baby, because this one four years ago this is like the new and improved version but it changed my life and um i highly recommend it and you're gonna learn a ton you're gonna have confidence to go out and do who knows you might quit your job and and start talking to people on instagram and start solving problems yeah you know? that's yeah. really what fundamentally what business is in life is all about and um I'm just having a blast, man. I can't thank you enough. I'm getting well, and you're such an implementer. I started the interview by saying that, so thank you. Um, I'm just going to wrap up and stay here with me, though. I want to sure. um, just thank you afterwards. We're going to jump. By the way, Top Gun Consulting starts in 16 minutes and 20 seconds. So when would now be a really great time to jump in and grab uh, your subscription? By the way, it's totally guaranteed. Uh, so if you get in and and for some reason you're not totally blown away, which you probably will be. Uh, you can get a refund, and if you don't get a result, you can get a refund. All that information is on the page. So I want to put all the risk on me so that you can just come in with a very uh, free uh, uh, pass to success. Um, there's more in this conversation that we need to cover. Uh, we just scratched the tip of the iceberg. Uh, one thing you may have noticed from that last answer is David has built into his program automatic growth. What I mean by that is people pay him a certain amount up front, um, which went up since the last time we talked, which is great. And then, and then they also pay on a monthly basis, which they're usually thrilled to do because they're getting the kind of result that they that they want, which is uh, which is great. But at the same time, he's getting paid. He he's created a model where it has his revenue has to grow, and we'll talk about that on this next interview. It's it's quite brilliant. Uh, and now he's getting ready to transition. Believe it or not, already after five months, his business, which I believe his next business is going to be a seven figure business, and we can talk a little bit more about that when we do another interview as well. Really great comments, by the way, coming in. Thank you, Scott. Uh, thank you, Marnie. Really nice. Uh, Diana says, yeah, I'm starting from zero too, so thank you for that. Um, and uh, the team is connecting, which is great. All right, so we start Top Gun Consulting in 16, uh, sorry, 14 minutes and 52 seconds. So come join us on there. David's gonna be in, because he's in the program uh, already, even though he took it before, even though he took it before, he's coming back again for some more meat, okay? Uh, which is what successful people do. So thanks for your time and attention. Uh, we're still doing Ed Talks Live the next two weeks, even though Top Consult Consulting is gone, but the shows will be just a little bit shorter. Uh, on Thursday, I've got a, a show designed for you called How to Develop Sales Boldness. I'm going to talk to you about how to overcome 
um, objections to the sale. And of course, David's coming back sometime soon to talk about how to turn conversations into conversions. Don't forget, you can do this. I don't care who you are, what you've done, what your background is. If you're really confident or not confident at all, you can do it because if you have can have a conversation, you can get someone to pay you to help them. Thanks, David Zetz. You're the man, dude. Appreciate it, buddy. Love you, man. Thanks. Love you too, pal. Ta uh, Ed Talks Live is out.